The who win of the week this week is Moon Sand versus Floam. I'll look both of these up. Wasn't there a Moon Sand like jingle or song or something? Yeah, but I keep wanting to, I keep wanting to mix it up with the Zoo Pals theme song. Oink oink Moon Sand. Yeah. No, because I keep wanting to say Moon Sand makes eating fun. Moon Sand does make. Yeah. I think Moon Sand is edible, similar to Play Doh. Probably non toxic. One would hope. Moon Sand. Moon Sand. Nine nine nine. What are you doing? Moon Sand. I'm trying to look up Moon Sand. Original Moon Sand song. Yeah, play this Moon Sand ad real quick. This Get probably isn't copyright anymore, is it? That's nah, fine. We'll be all right. No, I'm talking about Moon Sand though. Skip it. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't see the skip. Damn. This is pretty sick. It's from the moon. A pig. Whoa. Damn. This is a real ass infomercial. You can bake moon sand? That's big. That's big for the who would win. Okay, I thought there was like a uh, like yeah, a too, phrase or something. Yeah, it's it, it it's out of this world. Andy, I gotta tell you something. What? There was two things in that commercial that caught my eye, okay. unrelated to who won the week. One, I don't know. They kept saying it like, and if you want to build a castle, you can get even more moon sand. And it would say like, <clears throat> in order for projects of this size, like you need to order more moon. Like we don't yeah. give you enough moon sand to do that. We give you enough moon sand to make a little uh, baby elephant. Also, in that commercial, it says moon sand never dries out. Talk about suing people. Uh oh. I think if we had some moon sand from the early two thousands and it was dry, we could sue them for saying it never dries out. I don't know, man. I think it's like uh, if, as long as you keep a, a large amount of it together, it doesn't dry out. But if you separate pieces like a little bit, I think the pieces start to get. You dry. separate the part from the whole. It's like yeah, a bundle yeah, yeah. of sticks. One stick breaks. Ten sticks doesn't break. Yeah, I mean. Maybe not exactly like that, but sure. Uh, and then Floam. I mean, honestly, just looking at Floam, I feel like it can't be as fun or as you got to look at the you look up the old Floam commercial, okay? Because the old Floam commercial is fucking two thousand four. Yeah, probably it. Wow. Yeah, here we go. That's cool. Wow. That's so much phloem. Mm. That does look fun. I just want to... I do want to squish that. Oh, 
Imagine walking into a pep rally <laughs> with a flow, with a flow mask. With a flow <laughs> mask. <laughs> wow. Ask you, yeah, do, brother, you flown? Brother, you flown tonight? <laughs> <laughs> we're all flown tonight. So Dude, we're going over right to right Derek's ass. Day. We're flown. What? I have a ton of respect for flown and for moon sand. <laughs> of course, sure. Ask talking to the mic, talking to the respect. mic, Matthew. I can't, I can't state this enough. I have respect for both products. Absolutely, game recognized game. After watching both infomercials, and I suggest anybody that's voting at the on this at home to go and do the same. Watch both infomercials. They were informative. There's no way that Flown beats Moon Sand, and I'll tell you why. Okay, I have two reasons. Please. One, if you watch the Moon Sand infomercial. They're making shit out of moon sand. If you watch the Flom infomercial, they're just covering already made stuff in Flom. Mm. Like, Flom doesn't have the structural integrity, it seems like, to be its own product. You can let it sit and it'll harden, which, again, moon sand doesn't do. You can bake it and harden, but as long as it's still together, it doesn't really isn't supposed to harden. So that's minus one also because I think – Although usually having a harder exterior would be an advantage in a fight, moon sand is is dense enough when compacted that it would you know still be hard enough. Oh, I get what you're saying. Like a group of sticks, like when they're yes. together, <laughs> it's just like a group it's a break of ball. sticks. You know, Matthew. But, I, that, go ahead. Go ahead. Sorry, just my, but my big point is, moon sand is structurally has structural integrity to the point where you can create an entire castle out of moon sand. A whole moon sand world. Flome has no structural integrity. It's almost like you're uh uh you're you're putting lipstick on a pig with with flome. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm you're taking something and you're just floming yeah, you're the outside it. of it. Yeah. It's interesting because after I watched these, I was like, well, Flom is a much more diverse product. You can use it for so... I mean, you can use it on any surface. It's stickier. You do make a good point, though, about the compactness. And I think that you're right that that is what's going to put moon sand over the edge. And also, moon sand being, like, impervious to heat is also a big benefit. Because I think you could probably melt the fuck out of Flom. Oh, yeah. But and that something- shit... And I can guarantee you, Flom is toxic oh yeah yeah oh yeah a couple of kids dude a couple of kids ate flown back in 2004 and yeah. they're still alive but what kind of a life is it really yeah. you know what i'm saying um but f- but i feel like there is something to be said about the uh the the uh the malleability of flown like is there something to be said about flown as far as like well, you know, I want to say that because it, it it's when you say ma- I think I think malleable might have been your, the wrong uh, adjective there. Maybe because I would say moon sand is arguably equally, if not more. Sure. I think you meant like the way that it sticks to things. Is that like you can press it to things? Is that what you were looking for? I have no idea. I guess because I do agree. Like if you stick, if you press some moon sand onto a mirror, it's just going to fall off. Or yeah. if you press foam onto a mirror. That flome is going to stay there probably forever. Well, that's a problem with flome is that when it when you just like leave it out, it dries yeah, and then hardens. it becomes completely and then unlike brittle. when you dry. It's probably brittle dry moon too. Sand. You just snap. Uh, oh yeah, you yeah. snap flome like nobody's yeah. business. I'm Damn. taking moon sand. It's got to be moon sand. I respect both products. I wish flome would put up a better fight. To be honest with you, I think it would at first because it would you know. Sure, I'm trying to like move like flubber. That's probably how flow moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, whereas moon sand to me moves like the sand guy from Spider Man. Sandman. Yeah, and it can kind of, and then it, and then it gets compact. Yeah, and then can punch you. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be moon sand. Yeah. Moon sand's a good component. I hope. I honestly hope that moon sand wins the poll so that all the way next January we can put moon sand in the tournament. <laughs> And you want to know what the the difference is, Andy? Flome is awesome. 
Yeah. Floam is Floam is from Earth. Moon sand is out of this world. That says it all right there. Vote on that on Instagram on Friday. <laughs> <laughs>